Alright, hello. Um, today I'm going to show you how to install like custom flight plans for FSX. So the first thing you want to do is you'll need a few tools before we get anything started. You'll need AIFP3.exe. Uh, you can download that from their website. I'll link it in the description. And you need to download ACA underscore 2017. Link that in the description as well. Um, once you've got those two programs installed, don't need to open them yet. You want to search up. Uh, if we just go back here, AIG Flight Plans FSX, and then you can click on the first link. And you can click on any number of these. So if you want flight plans from winter 2008, click on that. But, I mean, you can choose. We're going to choose the latest ones. Um, we'll do the summer. And sometimes they might have them, sometimes they might not. Just check different um, months, like summer or winter. Some like EasyJet only has it in the summer, it doesn't have one for the winter. So let's type in EasyJet here. And we don't really need to switch for the moment, just do the summer one. And you want to save it to a folder which uh, you can find. So I've actually organised all of it here into a very neatly kind of categorised categories and um, locations right so let's just save that to flight plans and that'll take about a second to install once that has installed you will want to go to that location so yeah, things flight plans easy jet there you go right click that and extract Click into the AIG folder and then you'll see these three text documents, an AIFP config and a readme. And that they don't need to do anything in here at the minute. You just want to start up AIFP3. Yes. And you want to go to file, open, open flood plans. Where is it? No, here it is. Select FP text, that's zip. You can select your, not the extracted one, the compressed one. Select that. It will load everything in. There you go. If you don't load it in this way, it will be, it won't work. Right. So, I'm going to have a lot of red lines over here. If you see red ever, it means the aircraft is not being stored correctly so you'll get errors and uh, black normally black aircraft and glitches and just not nice stuff but easy jet here is nice and easy because we have most of these aircraft and we're ready we just need to drag them into AIFP3 AIF flight plan 3 basically so if you don't have the aircraft let's say you're looking for a 777 for British Airways don't know where to find it. I found this out accidentally. If you go into the extracted folder, click into the AFP config, scroll down here, and then you'll see this all bunch of weird text basically. Let's say you want the AG20SL. There's a lot of links. So we want for FSX. This is a FAB aircraft, right? Copy that. And I don't know, I don't know why it's in here, but click on it. It'll give you the repaint and uh, paste it in here. Download the repaint for you. So it's a little nifty trick. You might want to look through here if you cannot find it, but most of the time it's just a simple search. And you can uh, find the stuff online. But we're not going to worry about that for now. And what we wanted to do is open up here and do aircraft single add by path and we only need that in two aircraft which is the A319 and A318 right so let's see if we can find it so there's a look through the folders of the IA aircraft and here we go found it add right now this one's not in black as you can see can I deselect that uh, see this one is black these ones are red it means this is properly installed and it will work on your system 
but the aircraft is not tied to any flight plans so yeah the aircraft's there but they won't do anything they won't even appear because there's, there's no flight there's no, there's no it's going nowhere basically and now I'm adding the A320 so aircraft again single add by path and you can scroll through our aircraft to find the correct one if it doesn't open like this you basically have to start at windows program files and go to your fsx folder and go to microsoft games yeah here's our main fsx directory airplanes some objects airplanes then here we are so i'm guessing it's to be in the same location as the a319 or similar so where do we get a319 from here fed so a320 fmc there you go and select the easyjet one add that and now what you can do let's say we want some one of these to work right we just grab the a319 100 here replace now once you replace it we can't click off that i'm going to quickly grab the number so for the a319 it's 470 right click replace 470 what this is doing is transferring all of these flight plans to this aircraft so click ok 45 flight plans have been replaced now if you right click show flight plan using there you go all these flight plans are now tied to this a319 now i'm not going to have to show you to do all of them because it's boring i'll do a couple more and then you can basically figure it out yourself um, there's not much more you need to actually know if I find something that's interesting I might just add it in the description but I'll probably forget about it um, so yeah for the A320 again just find the default A320 replace 471 so A320's number there we go and you can add in special of free aircraft etc all right so that's all i'm going to do now and now to compile it you don't want to compile it first what you want to actually do is minus that go into your scenery folder where all your files are if you don't know where this is go to your microsoft flight simulator x folder scroll down to scenery all the way bottom to world scene texture scenery and here you are this has all your flight plans in all your bgls right now you want to search for the airline so easy jet and if you're scared about it's not going to work simply just drag it over so you can just pop it back in if your new flight plan doesn't work scroll down make sure there's no duplicates easy jet G, G, I'll just drag that out for now. Easy fly, I think, is a different thing. Easy jet swings are a whole different subsidiary as well, so we won't worry about that for a minute. So, some easy jet again to make sure they're gone. Yep. Alright, so click over that. You say select compile parameters. That's fine, leave it as it is. If you want to change the name to like new easy jet or new british airways or something like that um you can change it by just clicking in here and editing it just make sure you don't delete the bgl part continue file save file set mine's already saved and compile now you've got to remember you click save to f6 senior world scenery or it won't do anything it won't show up in your sim compile And yep, so this is an old one. If it says flight files to delete, that's good because what it's doing is finding any duplicates um, that you may have forgotten about. So I don't think I actually, I don't think I actually deleted it. So what I'll do is delete that now. Yep. Now I'm gonna get, oh, I'm gonna get all these arrows. You won't because the aircraft are not in use at the moment. I'll make them usable. But for now, that'll be all fine. 
click OK. If a few errors, you shouldn't compile successful. That's the only message that should come up. After that, start up sim, and you should see our traffic. I'm going to just quickly add all these aircraft in. Take me about 20 minutes. And um, I'm going to start.